Hello everyone, hope all is well and welcome back. So I'm so excited for today's video because I'm going to be talking about and doing a look with the Urban Decay and Game of Thrones collection. I'm so excited for this because I am such a big fan of the show. I think I've watched the whole show three times through. I'm really excited that the new season is here but I'm also really heartbroken because then that means it's the last and there's not going to be any more. I'm just so nervous about it. I dressed up as Karl Drogo for Halloween two years ago. That was definitely my favorite Halloween look I've ever done in my life. But anyways, I know there is a lot of mixed opinions about this collection. Some people are like, I wish they would have done better or whatnot. But I think they absolutely killed it, like through the packaging and all the details they went through in here and the shade names. And I just think they did such a wonderful tribute to this beautiful, beautiful show. This collection is actually so huge, so I'm gonna get into talking about the collection and what products they came out with. But before we do so, I would love for you to subscribe if you aren't already, that would mean so much to me. And now let's get into these products. So first of all, this is the palette. So you open it up and there's a quote from Daenerys Targaryen. And then you open it up like an, a pop-up book and it's the throne. So cool. And then there's also a quote from Tyrion Lannister. If you're a collector, this would look really cool on a bookshelf too. So, and then you pull out the palette itself and the palette has four the four houses. Ooh. And it completely comes out like this. And the shades in here are so fun. Online, I was a little bit iffy about it, but in person, I'm gonna do some swatches in like natural light and low light so you can see the dimension of the shadows. But I think they did an amazing job with this and I'm, I don't know what kind of look I wanna do today. I have so many ideas. They came out with a really cute highlighting palette. The packaging is so cool again. In it, there's three highlighting shades and they're all the names of the dragons, which is really cute. They came out with three of their 24-7 Glide-On pencils and they all have shimmer in them, but they're really unique shades. I'm most excited about this blue shade and it is called the Night King. They also came out with a lip and cheek stain. I don't know if this is a product that Urban Decay has come out with before. I don't think I've ever tried it and I haven't actually ever tried a lip and cheek stain before, I don't believe. I never tried like the Benefit one, that's the only one I can think of. And then finally, they came out with four lipsticks and I'm so excited for these lipsticks because the shades they came out with are really beautiful and I love the packaging of them, how they each have like the house on, houses on them. I will be swatching them on my lips near the end of the video, so keep tuned for that. So I think I'm going to start off with the eyes first, so let's zoom you in. Ooh. I just applied my eye base and a little bit of concealer on the bottom just because I don't have my base done yet, but I added some concealer just so that the shadow has something to stick underneath the lash line. I just about poked myself in the eye there. <laughs> but for my eye base, I use the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Light Capturing Self-Setting Concealer as always. I stayed up really late last night playing with this palette and I don't know which look I want to do because I did come up with some really fun ones, but I think I want to use this green the most here, the sight. So I think I'm going to build my look around that. I will say though that I do think that this palette doesn't have enough mattes in it. There's only three and the rest are shimmers. That's like a classic Urban Decay palette though. They always love their shimmers. So the first shade I'm going to be dipping into is Nymeria. And I'm putting that into the crease. It's just a nice warm transition shade. And now I'm going to be dipping into Lannister Red. And I'm just going to start building that up, building that up onto the outer corner. And I'm actually gonna take that Dose of Colors brush I always use and I'm going to pack 
that on to the outer corner. And I want this to be more of a winged out, like outer V shape. So I'm winging it out a little bit. And I'm gonna take that, this is the Anastasia A25 brush, a nice fluffy brush. And I'm gonna take more of that Nymeria shade just to help diffuse that shade out. And uh, right now I'm gonna take that Dose of Colors brush, brush with Lannister Red and start bringing that onto the lower lash line. And I'm just taking this out on the outer third to begin with. Wiping off my brush and then just diffusing the edges of that. And I might even take some more Nymeria and place it underneath that. Kind of try to deepen it up as much as I can on the outer corner here. And I'm going to start bringing that Lannister red shade into the inner corner because I want this to be a little bit more of a halo eye. I really love this Lannister red shade. It looks so beautiful. I love rusty red brick tone eyeshadows. I think they look so interesting. And now I'm going to take this BH Cosmetics. It's from the It's My Ray Ray collection, the number seven brush, a nice fluffier pencil brush. And I'm just going to, I don't have any product on here. I'm just kind of going to do a bridge here with whatever's on the eye already. And then I think I'm going to take that Anastasia A25 brush and just blend over everything. Now, I'm gonna take one of the pencils. I'm gonna take the Night King, which is the very beautiful, beautiful blue. And I think I'm going to bring that in the center of the lower lash line. This has shimmer in it. And then I'm going to take that It's My Ray Ray brush and just blend it out. I'm also going to bring that in the waterline. And then for the inner corner, I'm going to take some Lannister Red. Before that liner dries down, I'm going to take some of the Sight, which is the green. And I'm going to place that on top. And this is going to create a teal, I think. I was going to use the blue, but then I think it would be too similar to a look I did with the Melt Cosmetics uh, Blueprint stack. And then I'm going to copy exactly what I did to the bottom to the top here and go in with that, what is this called again? The Night King. A liner. Mostly in the center, I'm not touching the edges with that, and then I'm going to blend that out. I need to go in with a brush. I just need to add a little bit more on the lash line directly. And then with my finger, going back with that green shade, the sight, and applying that on top of that. Ooh, cool.
And then I think for the outer corner, just because I find that the depth isn't matching up to the depth of the center, I think I'm gonna take another little pencil brush. I'm not too sure what brush this is. It, the, uh, the label rubbed off, but it's a nice little pencil brush. And I'm going to dip into Take the Black. I'm just gonna add this on the outer corner. I'm not gonna add any on the inner corner because I don't want it to be too deep on the outer corner. I mean the inner corner. <laughs> I'm gonna take some more Lannister Red and blend out those edges. And I think I'm gonna kind of add a little bit more of this Lannister Red across here I feel like that will make this look a little bit better I really love how this eye look is turning out for like an inner corner and brow bone highlight I don't know which one I want to use there's a lot of really interesting shades here I'm gonna swatch a few here are a few shades that are so interesting to me this one right here is white walker this one is Bay of Dragons. This is Bend the Knee. This is Frozen North. And this one here is King's Landing. I'm gonna lower the light. Here's what those shades look like in low light. These ones are here. Oh, so cool. I'm, I put a little King's Landing, but it just shimmered too gold. So I'm gonna put some Hard Home. That's better. And now I'm gonna go catch this eye up to speed and I will be right back. And here are the eyes all done. I think this is one of my most favorite eye looks I've ever created. I absolutely love this. The lashes I'm wearing are the Velour uh, Sinful Lashes. I do have a code with them, I'll link it down below. And the mascara I used is my favorite, the Hourglass Caution. And I also went ahead and did the rest of my base quickly. I'm wearing the Guerlain Essential foundation and milk blur stick and I also did my brows. Oh my gosh, these eyes are so fun. Uh, for, I'm gonna go, uh, what am I doing? I'm going to go in with the lip and cheek stain. This looks like, I just dropped some on the back of my hand, but it looks like they just scooped whatever was left on the floor after the red wedding episode. I'm kind of nervous. Okay, I'm gonna uh, do it. I'm going to apply it on my cheeks. I'm just um, spreading it out on my finger here. Whew. Okay, it's very, very sheer. Oh my gosh, I really like it. It's not disturbing my foundation at all or the concealer I have under. I'm gonna apply it on my nose as well. This looks so natural. Oh. I'm just going in the wave technique to make it look like I've been in the sun. Ooh, this is so pretty. I'm putting on a lot because I love blush. Blush and bronzer are my two favorite steps of doing base makeup, for sure. Oh, and it, it dries down with a nice glow. Ooh. Okay, big fan, big, big fan of this. Okay, I'm gonna take some down off my nose because I put a little too much. I would maybe suggest putting it on a palette because I look like I have a burnt hat now. Okay, <laughs> now going in with the highlighting palette, and this is the Mother's of, Mother of Dragons palette, and each highlighter is the name of her dragons, which is so cute. I'm going to take this BH Cosmetics and Ray Ray Collection again, number five brush, which looks look like look which looks like a beautiful brush to highlight with. It's nice and fluffy. I'm gonna zoom you in a little bit more. I think I'm gonna use the middle one for Viseron. 
Viserin? I, I don't know why, but I don't remember the names of the dragons. I love how the imprint in the highlighters are little eggs. <laughs> the details are so cute. Okay, that's pretty. Okay, I was a little bit nervous because they looked a little bit glittery when I swatched them on my hand earlier. But it's not at all. It's just a nice sheen. Ooh, that's pretty. Might be a little bit deep for my skin tone. I don't know, let me blend it out like crazy. I'm just gonna go pat over it with my beauty blender just to add a little bit more hydration into that. Cute. Also, while I'm doing this, I did film a video of what I packed with me to Hawaii and how I packed my bag and stuff. I just haven't edited yet. I just wanted to I just wanted to know if that's something you would like to see. Also, I am I am thinking about uh, doing two videos a week instead of one, so please let me know what you think about that as well. It's definitely not my favorite highlighter in the world, but it is very, very beautiful. And I like how these can suit a multitude of different skin tones, so that's really lovely. And now it's time for lips. I'm gonna zoom you in even more. Whoa. I'm first gonna start off with this one. This is Cersei Lannister, and it is like a bronzy gold. It is one of their metalized formulations which in the past I didn't like, but now I like them more. I feel like they used to have a lot more chunky glitter in them, but now it's more like a sheen. So that's what that shade looks like on my skin tone. Does not look good with this eye look, but I feel like it would look really interesting with the bronzy eye. It would look really nice with the bronze tones that the palette has. Next, I'm gonna try on the Daenerys Targaryen shade, and it is um, also a metalized formulation, but it's red. There's that shade on. Definitely not a red that I like. It's a little too pink. Um, I might pass this shade on, sadly. I just know I would never wear it. Next, I have, this one is one of the shades I've been really excited about, is White Walker. Oh, the packaging, and it is a very deep shade. Okay, that was one of my worst lip applications ever, but it's a really nice deep wine shade and I really like it. In combination with this eye, I think it looks pretty neat, but I think I want to wear the nude because this is too much for me. And then, oh, and I forgot to mention that that White Walker shade is a comfort matte formula. And this is the last one and it is, oh, that's not the right one. It's Sansa Stark and it is a sheer. And that's that on the lips. It's a little bit pale. It's a very light pink peachy shade. I'm gonna try to put the lip cheek, uh, lip stain underneath. I'm gonna try to put Sansa Stark on top of this, see what happens. I 
like that combination a lot better. And here is the finished full face look. I completely am in love with how it turned out. So what I think is worth purchasing from this collection if you are going, if you're thinking about it, I would really recommend picking up the palette because I think it's just so fun. And if you're a Game of Thrones fan, why not? This combines two of my favorite things, makeup and my favorite show. So I am so happy I have this in my collection. I definitely feel like I won't ever part from this. I do wish that there was a few more mattes in here. I feel like the, but the shimmers are in here are very beautiful and unique. This palette would really benefit from a navy blue, um, just to go match like with these deep blue shades up here. I feel like that'd be really cool because you only get three shades and they're all warm. Like this is a matte shade I wouldn't use because it's too light. I just want more depth maybe. But the shimmers are in here are very beautiful and unique. The highlighting palette, I don't, it's not my favorite thing. If these tones are really speaking to you, then the formula is really beautiful. It's not glittery, it's just like a beautiful sheen. I could go without this highlighting palette because I would realistically never use the pink one or this one, I would just use this one and it is a little bit deeper than highlighters I enjoy on myself. So yeah, I could go without it. For the lip and cheek stain, I absolutely love this product so far. I don't know how it wears yet. I will definitely keep you updated because I do think that I will be wearing this a lot because I just love the way it looks right now anyways. It, it definitely gives me the blush look that I really love. For the liners, there's two that I would recommend. I do really love the shade that I use today, the blue. It's so beautiful. And I actually and I really like Dragon Smoke, which is that charcoaly gray, but it also has a bunch of different shimmer in it. It has like pink and purple. It's really cool. I last night when I was playing with this collection, I did a really cool smoky eye. I did I kind of did the exact same shape as I did the first look in my three looks one palette using the Riviera palette from ABH, but I just used neutral tones from this Game of Thrones palette and it looked really, really cool. I could go without these two shades just because like a gold like this, I don't, I would, I don't see myself getting a good use out of a gold like that. Like I don't really know what to do with it. It would be cool for like a base for other metallic shades. That's one use I can think that I would use it for, but otherwise I would don't think I would get a good use out of it. And this, uh, Winterfell Snow is really beautiful. I just don't think that I'll get enough use out of it either. Finally, for the lipsticks, my two favorite shades are definitely is Sansa Stark and White, uh, yeah, White Walker. Those two are my favorite. I could go without Cersei and Daenerys just because the metall metallicized formula is still not my favorite. I wouldn't go, I wouldn't reach for it. That is all for me today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And even if you're not going to pick up this palette, try this eye look using uh, eyeshadows you already have in your collection because this eye look is so fun. But anyways, if you have any recommendations on what you would like to see next, please comment them down below. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye!